Hi there, I'm Ted Alexander, and welcome to the latest edition of Wake Up with Wilder. Monarchs coming off a difficult trip to Bowling Green, Kentucky, 59-24 the loss. The record now 4-3 and three overall, 2-1 and one in the league. And coach, I mentioned the record because we have to keep everything in perspective here. The sky isn't falling, but it's a performance that you have to look at, absorb, and move on from. Oh, no question, Ted. And it was, it was difficult to get beaten that badly, and then you get home at 3 in the morning, and then you come in the next day, and... Everybody's tired, everybody's a little down. The first thing I did when we went into the team meeting on Sunday was everybody stand up, repeat after me, we are a good football team. And that's my number one responsibility is to get them back. Now, also to understand that we got beaten badly. But there's got to be perspective. There's got to be that uh, they played the number one team in the nation, Alabama, closer than three other teams. Tennessee lost by 49 to Alabama. Western Kentucky lost by 28. They lost to Vanderbilt, who's 4-4, four four, at home by one point. And they lost to Louisiana Tech, who's the best team in the West right now. So there has to be some perspective in that. The situation in the game, Ted, I mean, clearly right from the start, we were dominated. Uh, we rushed for 67 yards against the number one rush defense in the league. We had been rushing for over 200 yards. You're not going to win a game when you do that. Uh, pass defense, we give up 380 yards passing. Now, they'd been throwing for 345 a game, but you're not going to win a game doing that. So there were clearly things we had to do well in this game, and we didn't. And early on, that was the case and I would think those circumstances make you think uh oh I'm gonna have to do something extraordinary here to turn this around hence the the go for it on the fourth down you're looking to create a spark is that correct yeah absolutely at that point we were down 14 to nothing we hadn't got a first down yet uh, on offense and we hadn't stopped them or looked like we were going to be able to stop them so in those situations if there's an opportunity as a head coach you're trying to change momentum and unfortunately Ted in that situation we we misaligned something we would practiced all week done all week worked on properly we have a player that doesn't align properly and then we have one of our better players that misses his block that we practice all week. We didn't block the edge right on the play. So uh, at that point, that's when you can really tell as a head coach, your team is flustered. Now they're out of character. Now they're doing things that they hadn't practiced. And the moment really got us, got all of us, everybody. It got all of us. When you see plays like that, Ted, you know the moment got you. So you move on from this. It still only counts as one loss. It's only counting as the first loss in Conference USA for the Monarchs. You mm -hmm. think about the UTEP Miners, a huge win for them, a five overtime victory at UTSA. Mm -hmm. What's the first thing we should be thinking about when it comes to the Miners? Wow, what, what a game, Ted, and, and a lot of credit uh, to Sean Kugler, who you know is one of the really good guys um, in our league. In their previous five games, Ted, they'd scored a combined 56 points. Then they have a bye week, and they redefine themselves, and they score 52 points in one game. So five games, 56, one game, 52, and on the road against a good San Antonio team who had beaten Southern Miss by 23. So they look to be a team now that's got some energy, got some momentum. They're always going to play physical, Ted. The line of scrimmage in this game is going to be physical. Sean Kugler played O-line. Coached O-line in the NFL. He loves to run the downhill physical plays. So the, the line of scrimmage is going to define this game. All right, thank you, Coach. If you're wondering, I haven't asked Coach about the altercation with Western Kentucky in the second half. We've not heard from Conference USA, uh, Conference USA on that yet. I think it's unfair for me to pepper him with questions about that until the league says something. He'll have a response after we hear from Conference USA. Coach, thanks for the time. Good work this week, and let's get on to you, Ted. And, Ted, let's get ready for a two-movie flight coming up. Two movies, folks. Two movies. It's going to be a long one. <laughs> this has been Wake Up, Go Back to Bed, and Wake Up Again with Wilder on Monarch Media.